Hey everyone, the Dark Knight is here. Modern Love Mumbai is uh, the Indian version of Amazon Prime original anthology series Modern Love that was set in New York and all the New York stories were uh, basically the essays that were published in New York Times. So Modern Love Mumbai is set in Mumbai. Modern Love Mumbai is one of the three Indian versions of the original work. The other are Modern Love Hyderabad and Modern Love Chennai. So uh, Modern Lo Love Mumbai follows the same aesthetics as the original work and each of the six episodes present different love stories talking about freedom and questioning the boundary to reach the human desire. Three of the six stories are about married women of different ages. Uh, one is about uh, a woman in her 20s, one is about uh, in her 40s, and the other one is about a woman in her late 50s or I think 60s. Then there is one story about homosexuals and one story is about uh, unmarried woman who is looking for her ideal through a dating app. And there is one story about uh, Northeast uh, Indian mother and son who are in the conflict of getting mixed in uh, multiculturalism. I really like the panel of directors who are involved in this uh, Modern Love Mumbai project. The first story, Rath Rani, is directed by Shanali Bose, who directed The Sky is Pink. It was an impressive film. So Rath Rani is the first story that was uh, that is about a Kashmiri girl from Dal Lake, Lali, who marries a Mumbaikar security guard, Lutfi, and uh, moves with him to Mumbai. But she has a dull life until Lutfi is transferred somewhere and he leaves his bicycle behind for her. The second story is called Bai, about Manzar Ali, who belongs to a conservative Muslim household who is interested in men, but he is not able to tell his beloved ailing grandmother, Bai. Bai is directed by great director Hansel Mehta, and he touched the elements of homosexuality before in one of his directional ventures, Aligarh. The third story, Mumbai Dragon, is uh, about Northeast Indian mother and son, where the mother faces difficulty of accepting her son's girlfriend who is not a Northeast Indian. And uh, Mumbai Dragon is directed by Vishal Bhardwaj. And it's a pretty funny story. I really liked it. My Beautiful Wrinkles is directed by Alan Krita Srivastav. This is about old widow who takes interest in a young athlete, Kunal. And this plot is very similar to Alan Krita Srivastav's uh, previous directional film, Lipstick Under My Burka. Alan Krita's direction is like a wave for uh, the liber liberalism of womanhood, where she develops bold intentions uh, in the plot and addresses in a peculiar way. She shows the loneliness of uh, Dilber that absorbs and the passion and the hunger in women in general for adequate lust melts young men to daydream and draw their nudity in their honest illustration. I was super excited to see Little Things famed Dhruv Segal. He directed I Love Thane that is about a girl who is looking for her ideal through dating app but to know a whale and then she gives a shot at uh, Perth who comes through work and Cutting Chai is about a married woman in her 40s who is thinking about her life decisions about her marriage about her being a wife a mother but not a novelist that was her ambition and she wanted to become a novelist before marriage Cutting Chai is directed by Nobul Asthana Besides uh, love elements, uh, modern love Mumbai is about small, th small things which matter in life and this is the beauty in 
small portions of the screenplay like for example in uh, in cutting chai uh, latika the woman the married woman in her 40s she begins to regret about her life decisions and imagines people around her agreeing or disagreeing with her in rat rani lali is about to throw her husband's uh, bicycle uh, from the fly over until she just in the last seconds she thinks about utilizing it by learning uh, learning to ride this bicycle and then she starts earning bread for herself modern love mumbai is the positive energy that addresses optimism and encourages us to move on or uh, give a try although any tv or film uh, can have the same elements but it is the beauty of mlm and uh, the aesthetics involved in the making of modern love that the plot inclines towards uh, a push that is uh, needed to make the audience think i enjoyed when uh, dilber uh, gives a try to fantasize about young kunal or uh, when manzar meets rajveer after his fondness for the previous boy matters into heartbreak same case with uh, saiba when uh, she decides to give a shot on the man she didn't find through the dating app but uh, through work so therefore the audience gets to learn um a few things in life after watching this uh, mlm good to see sarika after a long time maybe she is working frequently that i am not aware of but uh, i happen to watch sarika after a long time and she deserves uh, recognition if anyone remembers her uh, in perzania you will believe sarika really is a great actress and she deserves more roles like perzania is this the first time nasiruddin shah has played a sikh character sardar ji nasiruddin shah uh, i don't remember uh, i mean at least i would have watched at least 75 to 80 of nasiruddin shah films in my life i don't remember if i have watched him in a role of a sardar uh, this was the first time it it is like a uh, Uh, just another great accomplishment uh, in his uh, distinguished acting career pratik gandhi is quite an actor who has the ability to play different roles harshad mehta from a gujarati uh, businessman stock broker to a muslim homosexual okay he really has made distinction in his choices i'm uh, i'm really optimistic about pratik gandhi that he is going to have a very uh, distinguished career uh, with uh, he will be selecting some different roles because uh, i like his choices and he is a great actor many actors performed well in uh, modern love mumbai but uh, the one amongst all uh, to whom i will consider the real winner from this show is uh, fatma sana sheikh uh, who played kashmiri girl lali in the, in the first story uh body language accent uh, the emotional breakdown everything was there i'm i'm really glad to see that she finally nailed a performance because i wasn't really uh thinking about her being a good actress but it again it is about uh the execution of uh the director the mentality of the director how they think about a particular actor or a particular role if you watch shunali bos the sky is pink uh you will see how she really worked well uh, with all those actors so maybe there is some influence of the director on fatma sana sheikh she find an actress in her and she really nailed that character ram sampath's music score is very touching full of life full of um, energy and if anyone noticed uh, at the start of every episode when the credits are played with the title song mausam hai pyar 
uh, you will see the name of John Carney, Modern Love's creator. So he is financing MLM. So this is the reason why why the tone was maintained, and uh, the makers didn't bollify uh, MLM with curry aesthetics. Is Modern Love limited to a mini series? Is Modern Love only consisting of six episodes and we are not expecting it to continue? I'm not sure, but um, hey, I, I have a strong belief that uh, the show must go on. Why? Because see, the original concept, what is the philosophy of Modern Love? Modern Love is built on the essays that were written and publi published in uh, New York Times. I'm not sure about uh, Modern Love Mumbai, the Indian version, if these stories, these uh, six stories are picked from the New York Times and translated here, or if the writers uh, presented their own Mumbai story. But see, stories will never die and love will not compromise. There is much human connection to discuss about. There is every capacity that uh, Modern Love Mumbai can continue further and can be stretched to uh, one more season. So Modern Love Mumbai show must go on. I'm Sunny Naik.